Hi everybody, Matthias here and welcome back to another sample library review. Today we take a look at Forbidden Planet by East West. Forbidden Planet is a cinematic scoring tool with around 600 patches where you can morph between electronic sounds and more acoustic sounds for a very futuristic sound. Right, so in today's video I'll demo a few patches from Forbidden Planet. We'll also talk about the Opus virtual instrument which is used to host uh, Forbidden Planet and the post-processing and mixing tools you have available to get a gnarly and gritty sound from this uh, instrument. Big thanks to East West for providing a review copy of Forbidden Planet. Let's take the tour! So this is a patch called the Dream Saver. And as we can see in the on the interface here, we have a source A and we have a source B. And for this patch, the source A is uh, this kind of core, kind of uh, nice A choir. And then on the source B, there's a more uh, kind of grit, uh, eerie, atmospheric sample. And we can fade between these by using the mod wheel here. You can see that uh, X fade parameter. So you can see at the top here in the Opus plugin, we have a Browse tab, Play tab, Perform and Mix tab. And on the Browse tab, we can see all the different uh, categories within Forbidden Planet. There's arpeggiators, basses, drones, effects, leads, pads and polysynths. And also a Quick Start tab. How convenient. So let's uh, maybe look in the Quick Start here and fire up some pads. The Fable pad. And we also get some nice information here about the pads and also a quick uh, preview of the sound when we press a preset here in, in the browser. So that uh, X fade between, or the morphing here between these two layers gives you tons of uh, like uh, organic feel to these patches. Let's try the high flyer.
Let's dive back to the browser and see. Icelandic unearthing. I love Icelandic sound, so why not? So I have the filter here hooked up to CC11 on, on the controller. We can actually just open up the automation pad to see what kind of controller values we can use for the different parameters in, in the Opus plugin here. So we have CC1, which is the mod wheel, which is attached to the fade here to morph between these two, source A and the source B. And CC11 is set to the filter. Then there's a bunch of other controller values here for uh, different effects and uh, ring modulations. Right, so a really nice thing here in the Opus plugin is that we have the ability to process uh, layer A and layer B differently. So we can have ring modulations only on layer A or on layer B on, or on both of these. And also the same for uh, adding an amp, uh, an amplifier and chorus. We can also do that too. Only the A layer or only the B layer. So let's add some ring mod to the A layer, because this is a really soft sound, so let's hear how it sounds with the ring mod later. So the ring modulation effect here is definitely something you can use if you want to uh, gnarly up uh, that uh, soft sound into a more like futuristic sound. Let's try the amp for uh, the layer A, maybe drag down the mix a little bit here in the beginning so it's not so profound. So that's also a, a cool feature to add the amplifier to maybe only the B layer so you can fade in that more gnarly and gritty sound. So let's try that for, for this patch. So let's add the amp only on the B and also some ring mod on the B patch or the B layer. We need to dial, dial back the amplifier, so it's only a few percent here. Let's try the chorus instead. Also have a panner. If you want the sounds to move a little in the stereo spectrum or a stereo doubler. I 
right, so let's go back to the browser here and find some more sounds, maybe in the polysynth category. So we can also apparently have the arpeggiator only on the layer A or on both layers. So we could have a pad fading into an arpeggiated sound. So let's try that. Let's just add a little bit of extra effects uh, at the end here because uh, I feel this is a really nice uh, like analog quality sound to it so maybe some Valhalla super massive. So that's a really cool sound here because we have one arpeggiation kind of sequence on the A part and a totally different arpeggiation sequence on arp B. And that gives us this really, really sweet kind of interplay when we mix between layer A and layer B. Really sweet sound. So now we're more into like a piano territory. So this will probably pop really nice if you're like creating a really large, huge cinematic cue and you want that really powerful melody line on top. Then we could use this uh, I'll Supply Love. Ooh. Now 
Now, if we want, we can also modify the arpeggiators here. If we go into, not the filter tab, but uh, the MIDI tab here. So here we have the arpeggiator A and the arpeggiator B. So we can set the arpeggiator A to be different from arpeggiator B. So let's load up a preset here for arpeggiator A. So you can save these as uh, presets. Something like that and see what happens. So there's a ton of fun to have here with the arpeggiators and adjusting the filter and the mod envelope for the filter while performing. We also have a MIDI tools tab here in the Opus plugin, so you can add more like custom arpeggiators. So there's some nice uh, MIDI tools here already in the Opus plugin, so we can add like a chord scaler, so we can get the, the notes we play only to uh, like lock to the Dorian scale with a specific root and like specific chord notes too. probably driving the signal a little bit too hot here but there's some really nice like uh, punching key sounds here or keyboard polysynth sounds in this uh, polysynth category <laughs> So as you can hear, it really seems that the many of the patches here in Forbidden Planet really uh, leans toward uh, being like long organic uh, pad sounds because uh, there's a lot happening in the sounds and they are constantly evolving.
Okay, so let's look at some leads. So let's just try to get rid of all the effects here to hear how the sound is uh, when it's really dry. So the dark uh, Abbey reverb is uh, what's, what's uh, giving the sound here, that uh, blooming, lush uh, kind of space. Let's go to the pads again and uh, because uh, that's the sounds that I really love so far. The pads and the polish synth sounds. one uh, mesoloactic murmur was a really lovely sound. With some of these patches you really have to be careful that you're not playing like uh, too many notes. But that's, uh, that's typical when you're composing with pads. So there's uh, quite a few uh, nice drones and pads in here which you can use like uh, for underscoring and uh, as an underlying base for the rest of your composition. Okay, so let's uh, try out some of the bases here in Forbidden Planet. Let's try the space invaders first here. And the basses are, are probably uh, going to sound nice with the amps here. So let's add an amp to the A layer. Oh, the, the B layer already had the, had the amp there.
So here we're going from like a stereo, like a stereo bass on the A layer. To a more focused like mono bass on, on the B layer. Okay, so let's finally look at uh, some of the arpeggiator patches. So that's the blue pill. Definitely some Zelda vibes in, in the Hero the Hackers. Kirby. Right, so that was a short introduction into Forbidden Planet. I really feel that Forbidden Planet is tailored towards uh, cinematic music, EDM, film scores and game scores, because that is uh, kind of the sounds that you get out of this package. I really like the pads, the polysynths and uh, the drones category. 
Forbidden Planet is more than your regular sample player. It's uh, not often that you see separate arpeggiators for, for the different layers of, of the synth. And I feel that the filter in, in the synth also sounds very like analog and, and has a ni nice drive to it. Now, if you want to try out Forbidden Planet, you can grab the 30 day trial for the Composer Cloud, which is the subscription service that East West offers. They currently have this uh, 30 day free trial. But as always, you can also buy the sample library separately, as you can grab Forbidden Planet for $299 at the moment of making this video. Right, so that's all for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that in the video comments below. Thanks for watching today, see you in the next video. Bye!